Howdy, I'm Matt and in this video a very quick tip for you to be able to handle wiring issues like that. Now what do I mean about wire issues like that? And it, let's face it, it is a bit of a bird's nest in there. And the thing is, is that if you were to disconnect something, how do you know which servo does what? And this is my very simple tip. Grab yourself some insulation tape and I'm using a cutting board like so. I'm just lightly putting that on there and then every one centimeter with a really blunt knife, I'm just slicing across roughly on those lines. What that now means is that if I grab a pen, or you grab a pen, and then type in L right, L left, uh, tilt, maybe for the FPV camera on there, and then maybe pan on another. What you can then do, if I grab a, mm, well, we'll use that as a servo wire, is that we pick that one off badly. There we go. So you grab your little strip, and then just tie it around the cable, focus on the ends, and there you go. So imagine that's inside your model, that says LR. You now know that that goes to the right aileron, and that's my tip. You can do that, you can, you can write whatever you want on them, uh, and they are very quick, they're very simple, and of course if you do one wrong, you can tear it off and put on a different one. So there you go, that's my little tip. So with that said for myself, Matt, thank you very much for joining me here for this little tiny workshop on how to deal with birds nests inside of RC models and by the way if you've got any other little simple tips like that please share them down in the comment section underneath this video so we can pass them on to other RC pilots like you and me and on that note for myself Matt thank you very much for taking the time to join me here at the workbench and I'll see you again shortly cheerios